the Reserve Bank of India, established on 1st April 1935, is the central bank of the Indian nation. The central office of the bank is at Mumbai and it has offices and sub-offices located across the country. As the central bank, the RBI formulates the monetary policy. regulates and supervises the financial system, manages the foreign exchange reserves and facilitates the development of the forex markets, issues currency notes and coins, acts as a banker to central and state governments, acts as a banker to banks and lender of the last resort and sets the trend for payment and settlement systems and their regulation. The RBI has also played a major role in promoting several financial and developmental institutions. As part of its developmental role and for the purpose of providing suitable training opportunities, particularly for the banking industry, it has also set up institutions like the National Institute for Bank Management, Indian Institute of Bank Management, Institute for Development and Research in Banking Technology, and Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research. Unlike most other central banks, considering the predominantly rural and agrarian nature of the economy, the Reserve Bank of India plays an important role in promoting financial services in the sector. As these areas need particular expertise, the RBI established the College of Agricultural Banking, CAB, at Pune to aid in capacity building of the human resources of the banks and financial institutions. Pune is known as the Oxford of the East due to the presence of several high-quality training and academic institutions. The city of Pune has a rich cultural tradition and it has been a witness to several nationalist and social reform movements. Mahatma Gandhi was interned at the Aga Khan Palace at Pune during the freedom struggle. Apart from being a major manufacturing center, it is also among the top IT hubs of India. Pune is well connected by air to various prominent cities of the country as well as certain international destinations. It is also just about three hours pleasant drive on the expressway or by the rail from India's commercial capital Mumbai. Referred as the Queen of Tekken, Pune has a moderate climate throughout the year. The world famous Ajanta and Elora Caves housing some amazing paintings and sculptures of yore are just a few hours drive from Pune. CAB began its services as the Cooperative Bank Training College in Pune on 29th September 1969 with a focus on catering to the training needs of the cooperative sector. The present name was adopted from February 16, 1974 to refocus its efforts on the wider area of training activity, particularly after the nationalization of banks. In keeping up with its vision to be a premier center of excellence for capacity building in development banking and finance, over time, the CAB has broad-based its training programs to cover virtually every facet of banking and development areas as a world-class institution in pursuit of its efforts towards continuous innovation and improvement, the college has also put in place a quality process system as per ISO standards. The overall policy guidelines for the functioning of the college are formulated by the College Advisory Committee chaired by the Deputy Governor of the RBI and experts from the financial industry, academia, and top executives of RBI. The college is headed by a principal 
who is also the chief general manager of the RBI. The faculty members are drawn from the senior and middle management of the RBI through a comprehensive selection process. CAB caters to the training requirements of a diverse clientele from the banking institutions to the government agencies. Apart from the regular training programs for participants from different institutions, customized programs are also conducted for requesting organizations as per feasibility. Besides extending faculty support to various training institutions, the college has also been conducting need-based off-site programs. The CAB has been organizing national level conferences, symposiums and workshops on issues of topical relevance. Further, several programs are conducted in collaboration with international institutions like the UNTP, Center for International Cooperation in Training and Agricultural Banking, Asia-Pacific Rural and Agricultural Credit Association and ISACA. The CAB also conducts collaborative programs with various national level institutions. From time to time, the college has also been hosting international programs such as CSEN workshop for the central bank executives from different countries, customized programs for the executives from Central Bank of Sri Lanka and Bhutan. Further, as per topical relevance, CAB organizes international exposure visits to senior officials of the financial industry. Owing to its client orientation and quest for excellence, the programs by the CAB have been exceptionally well received over the years. CAB conducts around 125 programs in a year. The training programs at CAB are offered in five streams. These are Rural Banking Channel, Urban Cooperative Banking Channel, Information Technology Channel, Human Resources Management Channel and Financial Institutions and General Banking Channel. Training methodologies include classroom lectures, case studies and exercises, management games, group discussions, computer lab hands-on and video conferencing. In several programs, field visits also form an important part of the learning experience. Entry and exit tests for the programs are conducted to evaluate and transfer of learning inputs while majority of the sessions are handled by the in-house faculty members. Eminent guest speakers are also invited from time to time to share their insights with the participants. CAB is committed to continually innovating and improving its training systems and processes for effective knowledge dissemination. As a part of the natural evolutionary process, the focus of the college has been gradually shifting towards designing of programs for the training centers of the financial industry across the country, conducting more of trainers' training programs, organizing sensitization programs for the media and the top managements of banks and furthering the collaborative initiatives with different reputed international institutions. The lecture sessions are conducted at well-furnished, air-conditioned classrooms with modern teaching aids. There are three discussion rooms to facilitate group exercises. The practical, computer-oriented sessions are conducted at the state-of-the-art computer lab. The CAP is connected to the Indian Financial Network, Infinite, through high-speed leased lines and VSAT. The CAB has two conference halls for hosting major programs and in-house meetings. Besides, an audio-visual room is used for showing educational films and inauguration of the programs. Apart from various conferences, 
cultural programs are also organized in the spacious multi-purpose auditorium. The college has an excellent library having a wide collection of books and periodicals, journals, Reserve Bank of India publications and educational CDs. The library also houses the self-learning center and a browsing center. Books relevant to a particular program are kept in a separate section during the course of the program for easy access and use by the participants. The college publishes a popular quarterly journal called the CAB Calling containing various articles on different themes of relevance contributed by the experts from the industry and the members of the faculty. The journal also features the proceedings of the various events such as seminars and conferences organized by the CAB. Besides training activities, the college undertakes studies on several subjects that serve as inputs to academia, the policy makers and the operational officials. Apart from efforts like publishing of booklets on relevant subjects, the CAB also develops e-learning courses to aid in distance learning. During the training, the participants are housed in the two hostels having 108 furnished AC rooms. The rooms also have provision for hot water using solar heating technology. A typical day in the college starts with a yoga session to relax and rejuvenate the body and the mind. A morning walk on the well laid out tracks inside the campus amidst the chirping of the birds brightens one's day. The ground floor of the Godavari Hostel houses a well equipped gym for the use of the participants. As for the sport lovers, the facilities include table tennis, carom, etc. Boarding facilities for the participants are available at two in-campus lounges with pleasing interiors. The college houses a 24 by 7 internet browsing center for the participants. Information kiosks are also in operation in the hostels to provide information about the college and the Pune city. The delegates and the participants can relax in the entertainment lounges. Aesthetically landscaped lawns with facilities for outdoor catering and entertainment have also been developed inside the campus. Medical care is available in the dispensary located inside the campus. For outward journey booking, a representative of an authorized travel agency is available in the college every afternoon. The college also houses the Reserve Bank of India archives within its campus. The archives were set up in 1981 with an objective of serving as a central repository for non-current permanent records of the bank for posterity and research purposes. The records are scientifically preserved by adopting the best practices with respect to restoration and rehabilitation of paper records and providing ambient storage for photographs, CDs and microfilm rolls. The archives showcase some priceless documents of the yesteryears that have attracted the attention of the visiting dignitaries and trainees of the college. CAB, a model training institution where learning has been a pleasure for thousands of officials who have experienced it.